Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Today, after the old day job, I am off to check out the new movie, Sing Sing. Sing Sing is directed by Greg Quadar and it's starring Coleman Domingo. It tells the story of a group of inmates at Sing Sing Prison that are involved in an organization called the RTA, or Rehabilitation Through the Arts. It's an organization that uses theater and the arts to help inmates get in, in touch with their feelings and learn how to develop their emotions and things of that sort. Basically, get things out in a nice positive area like the arts. So you know what, guys? This film looks really interesting, and not to mention, there are some actors that are in this film that are not professional actors, but they are people that were former inmates, and they were part of the RTA. So this film is an A24 film, and honestly, guys, I, that's all I got. It's time for me to get out of here and hit the road, because I first got to go to work, and then I'm off to check out Sing Sing. Welcome back, just getting home, and guys, I really enjoyed this film. Now let's get this started, shall we? Let's get things started with negatives and then move into positives to end the video on the ever so important high note. Now negatives wise, this didn't really bother me too awful much whatsoever, but I can completely understand if somebody isn't a fan of a dialogue heavy drama. If you are not somebody who enjoys a slow paced drama, this is probably not the film for you. Now if you're someone who does enjoy a film that takes its time telling its story, letting you get to know its characters characters very deeply, getting you emotionally attached to its characters, then this is definitely the film for you because that's exactly what this movie does. I guess we're in the positives. This film maybe moves slow. I will say that. There are parts of the movie that do feel a little draggy, but the story itself is just such a great story and the film is so well acted, you don't care that it's taking its time. In fact, you really enjoy these characters and every one of the actors in this film does an outstanding job. There really isn't like a standout performance. Everyone in this film does excellent. Even the former inmates that are playing themselves, it's actually really fun to uh, see at the end of the film, they tell you who they are, you know, and it, it was a lot of fun seeing them in the movie and all, and then realizing, oh, those were real people, those were actors, because you really don't notice it. It's, it's very well made. It, the acting, even from the former inmates, is outstanding, and it just fits so well. The way that the film is also shot, I really enjoyed. It had kind of a documentary feel, feel to the movie. It's almost like we're there witnessing everything with them while they're going through setting up their play and everything like that. And I, I kind of left that out in the intro a little bit. But yes, they're working on a play together, this group of inmates. And so it goes through all of the ways to basically build a play. And for someone who did former theater, in high school and college, let me tell you, I had so much fun watching them, you know, develop the play, write the play, learn their lines, build sets, and everything. The film does a great job of just documenting everything that goes.
goes into putting on a stage performance and then also learning how to act along the way and learn about your emotions and your feelings and all. There was something else about this film that I was extremely surprised and that it was a movie about prisoners with so much hope. Now I'm not saying that there aren't sad parts in this movie. There's plenty of sad parts in this film. But at the same time, there's also hope. You know, you're, you're hoping that the prisoners who are, are in prison are going to, you know, rehabilitate and learn new skills and things from taking the, you know, being part of the RTA. And you're also hoping that other prisoners who are facing parole boards and all, you get your fingers crossed for those guys, hoping that they get to see the outside of the prison wall sometime soon. And another thing that I really enjoyed about this is they didn't focus any, I mean they do a very little on some of the main characters, but in most of the characters they don't focus any on what these uh, men did to be put in prison. And I appreciate that because I think it helps the audience really like them and root for them a lot more because you're not looking at them as a criminal, you're looking at them as just a person having a good time in their club basically. And I really liked that the film did that. It didn't make these guys look like a bunch of, you know, jerks and mean bad dudes or anything. They look like people who are just genuinely there to have a really good time. So all in all, guys, if this is something that sounds interesting to you, I say definitely get out there. Check this film out. If you're someone that doesn't think they could sit through a movie theater of a drama like this, wait, wait for streaming. Just watch this film because it's an extremely good movie and I just want more people to see it. This is a, a get out there, see it in theaters, but if you can't make it in theaters, please watch this on streaming when it gets out there. Alright guys, well that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.